Welcome back to my channel everyone how are you guys doing so today i'm taking you to st lawrence gap barbados and i'm going to give you a little morning tour and you know barbados is a popular tourist destination and it's an island country in the lesser antilles of the west indies and in the caribbean region of north america and is the most easternly of the caribbean islands it lies on the boundary of the South American and the Caribbean plates and its capital and largest city is Bridgetown. So it's about 6, 6 30 in the morning and most of everyone is still asleep. So we're here at Infinity on the beach. This is a hotel and we're going to walk out a bit on St. Lawrence Gap, in the neighborhood of St. Lawrence Gap, that is. And I'm going to show you around the neighborhood, how it looks. And St. Lawrence Gap is in Christchurch, Barbados. And it's one of the best known neighborhoods in the country of Barbados. Sometimes called the Gap, St. Lawrence Gap is located on the southern coast of Barbados along the island's Highway 7. So Barbados is divided into 11 parishes, like how Guyana has 10 regions, Barbados have 11 parishes, that's Christchurch, St. Andrew, St. George, St. James, St. John, St. Joseph, St. Lucy, St. Michael, St. Peter, St. Philip, and St. Thomas. And St. Lawrence Gap is in the parish Christchurch. So here we are on the road now. This is in the neighborhood of St. Lawrence Gap. We just came out of the hotel that's Infinity on the beach. And we're just going to stroll around the neighborhood there. But as you can see, nobody's really out and about as yet. It gets more um, busy in the afternoon, of course, because it's a tourist destination. So obviously there's lots of hotels around there. So everybody's still in. But in that area, you can find bars and hotels, there are dance clubs, there are restaurants, resorts, um, there are shops along the beachfront as well. And St. Lawrence Gap is situated roughly 5 km southeast of the capital city, Bridgetown. So the area has a small church and that's St. Lawrence by the Sea. And there are larger hotels, of course, to the eastern end of the neighborhood. And that includes Sandals Resort one of the famous resorts and there are other large hotels like um, DV Southwinds and Turtle Beach Hotel. St. Lawrence Gap is a beautiful neighborhood. There is Dover Beach right on the other side. I'm going to show you that beach very soon. We are going to walk all the way to the end of the beach. And in that area as well, you can find um, a mini market that's in the center of St. Lawrence Gap. 
and there is a Scotia Bank. They have a branch there in the center of the resort. And on the eastern end of St. Lawrence Gap, there is a playing field used for cricket and football. So we're gonna continue walking around the neighborhood and then we're gonna go to the beach. That's Dover Beach, and that's the beach you're seeing right there. So there's so many things you can do in St. Lawrence Gap apart from cycling. You can visit the beach, you can snorkel, there is a uh, Atlantis submarine. You can take it to go down 130 feet to see a fabulous shipwreck. There is Harrison's Cave, uh, that's quite famous. And then there's a farmer's market, Hastings Farmer's Market, and that's every Wednesday and Saturday and that's opposite the boardwalk. And there you can find baked goods, fresh fruits, vegetables, plants, and local foods. Then, as I said, the Harrison's Cave, um, everybody wants to go there when they go to Barbados. And um, there is Barbados Wildlife Reserve. And there's lots of sports activities like cricket, golf, sailing, surfing, diving. There's game fishing, um, spear fishing, kite. Uh, windsurfing, um, paddle boarding, motorsports, tennis, squash, hiking, so many things. So here I'm showing you Dover Beach and it's located on the southern coast of Barbados in St. Lawrence Gap. So there are many things you can do on this beach and in the water but not snorkeling but you can um, watch for turtles they usually come up for air and there are other water sports you can do there too. It's quite a wide uh, beach. It's a white sand beach and you can rent jet skis if you like to. And behind Dover Beach, there are hotels and restaurants and bars and apartments, as you can see.
So guys, hope you enjoyed that glimpse of St. Lawrence Gap Christchurch Barbados. It's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.